Okay, this video is about using trig ratios and solving for angles and sides of a right triangle. Okay, so remember, on any given right triangle, there are three main trig ratios that we use, the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. And it's all relative to the angle theta, whatever angle is given or indicated. Okay, and relative to that angle, you need to label the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse. And depending on which side you need, you're going to determine which trig ratio you use to solve it. Okay? So remember this slide. Remember your calculators also need to be in degree mode for this to work correctly. All right. So look at this. Using sine, cosine, or tangent ratios, find x and y. Round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So finding x and y, no problem. But I need to know the angle before I can find y. So the first thing I need to do is solve for x. Now, if you don't know the angle, that's okay. There is a way around it, and I'm going to show you. But still, relative to this angle, I need to know what is opposite, what's adjacent, and what's the hypotenuse. Remember, if you don't know what's opposite, take the angle, draw a straight arrow, and the side it hits is your opposite. Hypotenuse is always the side directly across from the right angle, and then the adjacent is the third side. Now, knowing this, I know that the two given sides are the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So I think about my trig ratios, so Katoa. Which of these three uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, that's the cosine. So what I do is write the equation. I say cosine of x equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? So in order to find x, what I need to do is multiply by the inverse cosine, okay? so. What you're going to do on your calculator is just hit the second cosine button, and it's going to give you this right here, and then it'll say cosine negative 1, open a parenthesis, and you would type in this fraction, 15 over 25, and that will tell you what the angle x is. And you're around to two decimal places, so 53.13. Degrees. So remember, x is an angle, so it would be written in degrees. Now that I know this angle, I can find the side y. Now, relative to this angle, I need opposite and hypotenuse. Well, that is the sine ratio. So I'm going to say the sine of this angle I just found is 53.13 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now you're back to what we did a couple days ago. To simply find y, I'm just going to cross multiply. So y is equal to 25 times the sine of 53.13. And type that in your calculator. And then y would equal 19.99999. And it keeps on going. So what do you do when we round that? Well, you just say 20.00. Telling me you know to, de to round to two decimal places, but it rounded to 20.00. Right? Let's try another one. Very similar. Okay, relative to angle X, I have an opposite and I have a hypotenuse. I need the adjacent. So to find the angle first, I use opposite and hypotenuse. Remember Sokotoa. Which ratio uses opposite and hypotenuse? That is the sine. So I say the sine of X equals the opposite. Oops, that's a one. opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? And remember, to find x, I'm going to hit this sec second sign, and it will give me open parentheses, so I'll put in 2151, and it will give me the angle. So I get 24.32 degrees. Angle is in degrees, right? All right, now that I know this angle, I need to find the unknown y side. That's the adjacent. So I'm going to use, you could use cosine, you could use tangent. Whichever ratio you want to use is fine. You should end up with a very similar correct answer. So if I use the adjacent and the hypotenuse, that would be cosine. So I'm going to say the cosine of 24.32 degrees equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then I would solve it. 
cross multiply. So I have the cosine of 24.32 times 51. And I put that in my calculator. And I find out that y is equal to 46.47. All right, you try one on your own. You can use um, calculators online or whatever you need to, if, if you don't have a calculator, then you can just set it up and work it when you get to class. Okay, good luck and we'll see you in class.